is the scariest question someone could ask you? I asked a few people this a couple months ago, and these were their responses. <laughs> what are your plans after university? If you die today, do you think God will be pleased with you? And my favorite, why are you still single? <laughs> if you had asked me this question a few years ago, should I say, the answer undoubtedly would have been, what is your name? As trivial as the question may seem, it used to strike so much fear into me to the point that I used to avoid social events because the conversation always followed a very scripted manner. This caused me to unofficially adopt my English name. Now let's fast forward for a second and jump to year 11. Year 11 is the time everyone goes off to sixth form college and they use it to rebrand themselves. And for those who don't know, legally my name is also Jennifer. So, for those who may have guessed, <laughs> I decided that I was going to officially change my first name to Jennifer. So I came to my dad in a very formal, in a very formal fashion because my dad is a very formal man. I said, Dad, I want to change my first name to Jennifer. His answer was as follows. No. <laughs> oh, no. Followed by a very harsh, you are African, you are Nigerian, most importantly, you are Ibo. You should be proud. And if I hear you mention this again, there's going to be a serious problem between me and you. Either way, the conversation always ended up with me looking like this. So... <laughs> After being rejected for the thousandth time, I decided, you know what, let me ask myself, why do I dislike my name? Or more importantly, why do people dislike my name? Why do people make fun of my name and not Hannah's? So I decided to think about the first time I ever felt uncomfortable because of my name. And the earliest that I could recall was in reception. So I have a question for the audience. Please raise your hand if you have ever asked or, a bit, or have been asked, what is your African name for Bantz? And usually the person with the least English sounding name, that person always being me, would be, would be taunted for the rest of, of the day. So I took a step further. I decided to go into my corporate life. I have another question for you guys. Who here has ever changed their name on a CV or application? because they felt that it would increase their chances of getting a job. Again, you're not alone. A study done by the NBER faculty showed that when 5,000 CVs were sent out all with the same credentials, but with one difference, that difference being a name, there was a 50% difference in callback rates. This means that as soon as an employer sees your name, they already start practicing unconscious bias. They start to create a stereotype about you. They see, for example, my name, Adobe Adibe, applying for an electrical electronic engineering internship. They see that I'm African. They see that I'm black. They see that I'm a female. And the two don't fit the narrative, should I say. So I had all of this information, and I said, you know what? I want to make a change. And the best way to make any sort of change is to always start with, with yourself. So I decided to learn more about my history and my culture. For those who don't know as well, I am Ibo, and Ibo is one of the largest free tribes in Nigeria. I learned about the meaning of my name, which means first daughter of the compound. I learned about the Ibo Women's War, where 10,000 Ibo women decided to fight the colonial regime in order to be more actively included in government and politics. I learned about Chimamanda Adichie, who is my personal favorite feminist icon as well as Chinua Achibi, who, who both decided to actively tackle the false narrative of Africans through fictional storytelling. I learned about Chiwoto Ejofo, one of the most famous black British actors of our time, who was recently nominated for an Academy Award for his role in 12 Years a Slave, as well as bringing to life Half of a Yellow Sun. I decided to learn more about my parents. My dad, who currently has four degrees, including two masters and a PhD, founded and still runs his own African academic publishing company, lectures at two different universities, and recently started his own think tank in order to help build better African policies. <laughs> I learned more about my mother. 
my mother, who has a degree in theatrical arts and took up a second degree in, in nursing because she wanted to give us a better life, as well as teaching me how to be unapologetically myself, have unwavering confidence, and most importantly, to be kind without expecting anything in return. And the one thing that I have in common with all of these people is that we are all Ibo. We are all Nigerian, we are all African, and most importantly, we are all black. And it is my honor to be able to share that with the world by saying my name and saying it correctly. And so I'm not asking for all of you guys here today to go off and wear your name as a badge, but I'm asking for those with ethnic sounding names like mine to take a step forward, to embrace your culture, to learn about your history, to, to really challenge your narrative. I am a black African female from South London who is doing electrical and electronic engineering at a Russell Group University, team lead of a venture capital firm of two million pounds, and I will start my own successful venture capital firm. <laughs> Challenge your narrative. Challenge your narrative and reclaim your identity. And for those who don't have an ethnic sounding name, take a step forward. Ask yourself, am I being unconsciously biased? Am I creating a stereotype and, per and perpetuating a false narrative? And if you see your colleague doing the same thing, call them out on it. I'm asking for all of us to take a step forward together to dismantle what has been embedded in society for far too long. Let's all challenge the narrative and reclaim our identity. So, I'm not sure if any of you guys noticed, but I did not introduce myself properly. So if given the chance, I would like to do so. Hi, my name is Adobe, Adobe Adibe, what's yours? Thanks.